Five episodes ago, I rolled a death chunk, the Revenant Caves. On screen, you can see the items and levels that I have to get in this chunk. 89 Agility and 87 Fletching are particularly brutal skilling grinds, but by far the hardest task in this chunk is completing the Revenant Collection Log with the use of only a Maple Shortbow. To that end, in this video, we'll be killing 10,000 more Revenants. In my first 10,000, I received a crossbow, which I promptly lost. Can I do any better in the second set of 10,000? Let's find out. Welcome back to Cannabis Chunk. If you enjoy the Extreme One Chunk Iron Man series, please like, comment and subscribe on the video. It lets me know that this is the content that you want to see. Thank you so much for watching. Why haven't I thought of doing this sooner? I'm in the high risk world. Been here for maybe 10 minutes and not a single bot has logged in because of course they all use an amulet of avarice, don't they? So none of them want to risk it. So there's none of them here. And because there's no bots here, there's not, I imagine probably not going to be too many PKers either. Um, I mean, there might be the odd one, like looking for real players, but I don't really know why you'd go in search of real players who aren't going to be using a plus one, like a crossbow or whatever, because it's a high risk world. And you, as the PK, can't use any high value weapons or anything because you can't bring a plus one with you. So I'm quietly hopeful that this is going to be a lot less miserable now. And I don't know why I haven't thought of it. And frankly, I blame you guys because no one suggested it in the comments either. <laughs> Hold on. Is there a reason people don't do this? Do these skulls that you get in the high risk worlds count as skulls for being like skulled at Revenants? My thought is possibly not. You want to ask? Okay. Okay, that's fine. So I can get a regular skull. I just can't use those, that like, other weird one. Um, okay, cool. That's fine. I just need to pay extra attention then because it won't be so obvious when I de-skull. Cool. This guy just menacingly standing there is stressing me out. Like, surely he's definitely calling some mate that can come and kill me because he's too high combat. We shall see. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Nice little ancient totem. Not too bad. Free little one mil. Looks nice on the floor as well. We take those. I think they're like the most common of the decent drops. So not too excited. Uh, but nice nonetheless. Let's go chuck that in the bank. And here we go. Yet another ranging level. Level 86. Let's see if we've got an extra max hit. It'll be nice if we have, but I don't think we will, to be honest. But 86 range, that is such a high level. We're gonna we're gonna be 90 soon, God. Hey, it's our first PK -er in one of these in a long time. Not seen a PK -er at one of these for ages and ages. I think I've been logged in. I mean, it doesn't look like it because I've been hopping well to skull up, but it's been about an hour and a half without seeing a PK. Uh, but he's not got the agility level, so rip to Bozo. Unluck, friend. <laughs> oh, shit, bros. We just got ourselves an ancient relic. 16 million GP. I missed the collection log slot. Oh, fuck. Got some guy on me. Oh, some guy like logged in. Oh god, I don't know if that was a PK or what, but oh my god, that was scary. Oh, my heart's actually going. Oh, okay, I need to make it out of this thing because I would be really annoyed if I lost my 16 mil emblem. I can't believe that guy just came out of nowhere. Oh, oh my god, my heart is going like fucking crazy. Whew. 16 mil emblem. Oh, that is nice. That is so nice. 
Ancient Relic, right, that is all of our emblem collection slots done, I believe. Let's have a look. There it is. 11 out of 14 on the collection log. Just need the mace and the scepter and the avarice to go. Oh, that's huge money, huge money. Right, that was indeed our last emblem, which means we can finally fill in the last slot here. Chuck that over there, and there we have it. There are all our emblems. So we only we don't have all of them currently, uh, but we've got a decent amount. So what have we got? We got what, 1.5, 6.5. 10.5, 26.5 in emblems. <laughs> That's pretty good. I can just convert that straight into cash, which we might need to do soon because we are running low. That is exciting, though. Oh, my heart was going when that guy logged in on me. That was crazy. Now, like with RuneScape, in real life, easy money is hard to come by. However, like the Revenants, there can be exceptions, which is why I've partnered with today's sponsor, Honeygain. So... Honeygain isn't going to get you on a private jet to the Maldives, however, you can quite comfortably cover your RuneScape membership or Netflix subscription by simply running Honeygain in the background. Or, an even better investment, three or even four naan bread at the local Indian restaurant. Four naan, Jeremy. Four. That's insane. Honeygain is 100% safe to use, it does not collect personal data, and its use does not affect your own personal browsing experience. A classic use case for businesses to use Honeygain and borrow a small amount of your internet connection is to gather publicly available web data, such as pricing for flights or insurance, to easily be able to compare prices across different regions. You may have even benefited from Honeygain the last time you booked a holiday without ever knowing it. So don't hesitate any longer, download the Honeygain app or head over to the link in the description today to start collecting passive income and if you sign up using my code FRAY5, you'll get your first $5 added to your account straight away. Thank you to Honeygain for sponsoring this video. Oh, there is a cheeky little genie, we'll have you my friend. So that is actually the last lamp we need for level 31 hunter one more level until we can bare hand some young implings and when we can bare hand young implings that means that we will be able to get bowstring and that is quite big because it means we can use uh, magic short bow well you short bows for now magic short bows once we get our fletching level up so yeah really not too bad and I probably won't use them too much, but I'm feeling quite safe in the Revenant Caves in the minute, so I think it may be worth making a magic short bow at some point. We'll see. What are these people? Is this a bot? Like, it seems like not. Like, what's the point? Attacking me with... Okay. <laughs> they just confuse me. I, I, I don't know. Are these real people? Probably. Oh, just baffling, isn't it? Baffling. Okay, now he's dropped a Varax flail. I'm so conf... What? What is this guy around? I'm just going to go back, see what happens. <laughs> is he going to attack me again? No? What a confusing man. Oh, I'm just, I'm just confused. I'm just... Con what is... Huh? <laughs> what is happening right now? Oh, I just recorded a whole clip and forgot to uh, hit record. Uh, we just turned in 5 million GPs worth of emblems at the Emblem Trader. Uh, so frustrating you got to do it in Bounty Hunter because it just makes it that bit more scary. But we made it, we turned them in, we're all right, and we're just trying to get so we can teleport out now. I need to buy some new arrows, and I'm hoping, like, you know, 5 million GP will be enough to cover us in Addy Arrows to get us through to another Revenant weapon, because I'm sick of this maple short bow, and I just want to be using something better. Uh, but there we are, got out of the wildy with 5 million GP, and it's now time to buy some arrows. Okay, we've bought ourselves 5,000 Addy Arrows, which cost, what, nearly 800k. See, they're expensive, but that's not too bad, I guess. Uh, what, 160 GP each? I mean, we're making way more than that. Oh, I'm so happy I got that earlier. That is so fat. 
Uh, I'm, I'll turn that in one day, but not yet. I think what I want to try and do is get a full set, like just in the bank, because I think that'd look really sick. Ah, there's just there's just been an update to the game. Uh, and there's no bots. Which is kind of a good thing because there's no bots, but kind of a bad thing because I've got nothing to skull on. I usually just use those as mobile uh, sculling fodder. So, yeah. Uh, don't know how I'm going to get a skull. I guess I just kind of have to wait for the emblem trader to walk by and unskull until then. That's so sad, though, because the rate is so much worse unsculled. Can I just say, this update was a bot breaker. Like, all the bots and the ref caves are clearly not there. Average population on the 500, to, uh, like on the, you know, the UK world's 505 down to 525, is about five or 600 at this time normally. It's an average population, like 150 across those worlds, unless there's something specific going on. That's insane. That means like three quarters of the game is bots. That's nuts, isn't it? I mean, really, really crazy. What I might give a go, actually, is I've just done a DPS calculation at 86 range, and it looks like it takes me about 33 seconds in this setup to kill a Revenant Demon, which is longer than the Pyrefiends, but I have to wait for the spawn time of the Pyrefiends, so potentially... This may not be that bad, although I guess actually it's 33 seconds, assuming it doesn't heal, and it'll probably heal quite a lot. But my damage isn't too bad anymore on these, is it? Really? Like, I'm hitting quite consistently. Um, I should probably do another check now that my range level is so high to see if there are any other things worth killing, like the Hellhounds or... Something like that over the Pyrefiends. I think the Pyrefiends are probably going to be the play just because I can KO them quite quickly. Um, but worth uh, worth having a look into. Eh, yeah, it just isn't worth it. I just can't hit consistently enough to like out hit the heal. And also it hits me really, really badly. Um, so yeah, boring <laughs> Pyrefiends it is. Ah. Uh... I love going over the uh, over the agility shortcut and telling them to politely see ya. Uh, <laughs> it's just so addicting. The PKers are out in full force right now. He's still got shit agility though. Are these guys actually using HK? I swear he just like changed his whole gear in like one tick. Oh no, he's 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 a legit PK. We'll allow it. He's got shit agility though, so he won't have fun with this. Although he might actually KO me because he's quite high level. Uh, he's given up. Pussy. Pussy boy. <laughs> oh, it's felt like a while since I've got a uh, HP level, or at least it has been on screen. Of course, it dies just in time for me to uh, not get it. <laughs> now I'm going to wait for the spawn of the other one. Brilliant. Uh, we are currently about to get, though, level 2. No, not level 2. <laughs> 2 XP remaining until level 77. There we go, level 77 exactly, which doesn't give us a combat level, which is good, so we are just safer from the PKers for nothing, which is nice. So, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, it's annoying because I'm, as my combat level creeps up, I'm just going to get into more and more trouble with PKers, particularly if I move to higher wilderness once I get another rev weapon. Um, but it's, it's nice to see progress on the account, like the range level, the, like I remember this account being a noob really not that long ago, and now, you know, 80 magic, 86 range, 77 hit points, they're all like pretty good levels, so yeah, exciting times. Got some absolute cretin on me, he's splashed almost everything he's thrown, and he's not going to get agility level. <laughs> they never respond, I want them to like start shit talking over the gap, and they just never do. Maybe they're just better people than me and I'm the asshole. <laughs> I'm convinced the people that dress in like this gear are bots. He's 97 magic and nothing else and just attacks you with fire wave and tally block. So annoying. <laughs> like all it does is cost me my arrows and my pyrefiend kill. Like I don't even hop world from him because it's just a waste.
Well, like he'll probably just get straight back on me, even though I just escaped. Like I told you, it's so annoying. Ah. Uh... Okay, I think this may be a real player, but he is AFK. And so I might just get my first PK on the account. Sorry, Carol. <laughs> Holy fuck, that guy was stacked. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry. Oh, feel bad now. How long is this pile of stuff going to last there for because it's, it's actually quite annoying having it on screen oh <laughs> he's back and he's on me <laughs> oh that's funny <laughs> oh the agility coming through is a lifesaver again that's very funny <laughs> sorry carol we might have another afk player here not responding to me let's give it a go Oh, looked like he was actually, like he disconnected or something, but <laughs> that would have been funny. Oh, 50 agility merchant, what's he got for me? Hopefully, fuck all things you hate. So the G moles are a bit spooky because they can just go crazy, but I've got 40 defense and decent gear, so it's not too bad. Have to tr Have to talk a little bit of trash. You're not going to beat me when I'm concentrating. Easy game. Bye. Yo, look at this actual beast. Has he got the agility level? No, he doesn't. Oh my, I could actually get this then. Okay. Uh, I hate the toxic swamp people because I hate getting venomed. Although he's not actually venomed me yet, so I don't really know why that is. Come on, come on. Surely we got this. Easy. <laughs> he has venomed me though, which is annoying. Uh, I guess we'll just have to uh, go bank. Ah, oh, things you love to see in the rev caves, the old, the old genie with the lamp. Two, how annoying is that? I'm two, two XP away from two lamps from level 32 and I can get myself a better bow. Um, but <laughs> two XP, that's so annoying. Um, hopefully I get a dunce or whatever, but you can't get the dunces in the world, so that's pretty unlikely. Um, but I guess I could just go and catch a baby playing once I've had... Oh. Hello? <laughs> See, this is how frequently I get attacked. You guys think that I put loads of these in the video, and I just don't. Um, but, you know, it happens all the time, and they're really annoying, and they always start with a TB, even though they can't kill you. It is wounding, but we'll, uh, we'll carry on, yeah. Uh, it would be nice to get the new bow soon. Hopefully we do. Two levels, two, well, two lamps and one little... Baby and Pling to go and then we should be good. Right, I genuinely didn't know this until someone left it in the comments. Instead of running all the way around there, apparently you can just hop in this free-for-all portal, straight back out, and that cures everything. That is ridiculous. Why even have that if you can cheese it through that? <laughs> That's so stupid. Oh, I'd like to get a gold bar from this, because if I can, I could make myself a ring of dueling. Ah. Bad luck. Hold up, lads. It's Big Batty Paul. Big Batty Paul's on me. <laughs> He's like famous in the Rev Caves for being shit. As uh, if I die to him, that would be particularly embarrassing. Oh, here we go. Oh, he nearly had me. Come on, Paul. Paul's going crazy right now. Look at him. He literally is just here all day, every day, doing step-unders and everything. He must get bored. <laughs> I don't... I, I don't he's, he's attacked me, uh, f uh, you know, 500 times. 
uh, and never killed me. So we shall say. I think he just switches every attack. Like I'm pretty sure Big Batty Paul is a bot, but there he goes. See you, Big Batty Paul. Oh, one more totem. Not bad. Wonder if that PK will get on me. Now that he's oh, he's not followed. Good, good stuff. All right, one mil totem. Not bad, most common thing, but it'll do. It'll do. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Just got attacked by a PK. -er. He didn't land a single hit on me except a bind as soon as I'd crossed the agility. And with that bind, it venomed me with a toxic staff. <laughs> Fuck off. If it was just poison, I'd stay, but venom is just pain. Oh, go on then. I'll get another level. Nah, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I always kill it too quickly when I get a level. Oh, now we've got 11 seconds to wait. Terrible. I'll just have to entertain you in the meantime. Do, 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 See? That was good, wasn't it? There we go. Level 87 range. Flying through it. 77 combat as well, which means even higher level people can attack us now. Good times. But the main thing is we don't get a max hit from that, at least with Eagle Eye. Uh, so it turns out my next max hit with Adamant Arrows is going to be level 91, which gets me up to a 17, which is a bit gutting. But um, I at least might get a max hit without Eagle Eye. If you could hear that Discord message, I'm so sorry. I swear, this count check stuff is fucking great. I like it's been so so I've had like four of these it's because I can't get dunces in the wilderness as well it's double the amount of events I can get in the wilderness and they are brilliant right there is another lamp how close are we now 232 one lamp and a baby impling to go fun times okay we could be in a bit of bother here PK seems decent and we're dead. <laughs> oh, I just got some good loot as well. Oh, sad times. Sad times. Go on then. Second shot at the uh, gold bar. Come on. Let's get it. Let's get it. Here we go. How quickly can we do it? Bowl. Bar. Coins. Unlock. Sad. Oh, no. We just got caught at the end of a trip by a guy. Like, he just teleblocked me the second I came out. I think he was attacking someone else. Ugh. I mean, the good news is that at least I've got full food, but I don't think I'm going to survive this guy, to be honest. What's the agility level? 81. Yeah, I'm fucked. I'm so done. I can't... There's nothing I can do here. I mean... What I reckon probably head into the caves is probably the or maybe maybe what I'll do is try and fakey into the oh shit what decided he couldn't be bothered with me okay <laughs> we'll take that we will take that we'll hop oh my god that was nerve wracking he could have so easily had me oh there we go there is the last genie that we need for thirty two. Hunter. I mean, obviously, we have to go and actually find ourselves two Hunter XP. Uh, but we just need to go find one baby imp, and then we can get 32, find some young imps, and hopefully get ourselves a bowstring and make ourselves a U short bow. Exciting times. Oh, fucking hell, just AFK, and this thing spawned on my head. It kills me so easily. I wish I could kill it. I couldn't even kill it when I had the crossbow. Um, they're literally so OP. Um... So, yeah, but I think they've got... Uh, to be fair, they're not even worth killing. I always thought they were, and they had, like, really good rates of dropping weapons and that, but it's exactly the same as the knight and the dragon, so literally pointless unless you're really desperate for the 500k to 1 mil that it drops guaranteed as the emblems. I think that's what some people do, and it's probably really good money because you see these guys going around with, like, Ursine chain mace in, like, actually decent gear... Um, and they're always just trying to kill that thing. So I reckon if you can run around like that and get the kill every time, it's probably really good money. But for me, not really worth it. So what I'm going to do now is actually go to Varrock and try and pick myself up a baby impling and get level 32. So we shall see how that didn't take too long to find our first one. 
well, only one, because it's the only one we need. None of this young implings only. There we go, level 32. I, I love that it's such an inane thing, it doesn't even bring it up, but 32 barehanded young implings, which means we can get ourselves... Hang on. What was that? Gourmet implings? What level are they? 38? Hmm. Gourmet implings, uh, as it turns out, drop uh, the Chef's Delight, which I believe can boost your cooking level by up to four. So if I roll the 99 cooking chunk, um, which is this one, I won't actually need to get 99 because I could get 90. Oh, no, because I need the skill cape. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> That's annoying. They do drop garden pies, though, which could help with some farming stuff in the future. But uh, I thought I was going get, to get away with not getting 99, but you actually need to have 99 to get the skill cave. Oh, that's annoying. So here is our first one impling, uh, our first young impling. It's a one in ten to get the bowstring. We didn't get it. Meat pizza though, that's not actually too bad, is it really? Um, I'm hoping that I should be able to find a decent amount of these just around and about because they're low tier impling spawns, same as baby implings, and there's a spawn like right around here, so they should be around um, fairly commonly. Uh, not finding another one right now, but yeah, I'm 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 quite excited about this. I need to check in my bank. There's another one. I need to check in my bank what the um how much fletching XP I have banked because if I have a decent amount, if I can get to level seventy, uh, is it eighty? Is it eighty for a magic shortbow? 80. Yeah, if I can get to 80, I could get a magic short bow. I don't know if, what's the way to boost fletching. It's like a dragon fruit pie or something stupid, isn't it? That I can't get. Um, but yeah, if I can get to 80 quite quickly, then I could use a magic short bow. Let's check that actually. So I need what? Basically 1.1 million fletching XP to get to 80. And what have we got banked? Uh, that, that's about 300 and 330k. If we go in oaks, another 500. So we've got 500k banked. Probably not worth going out of my way to chop oak logs to get higher. Because I need to get 87, which is what? what level? Another 2 million on top. Ah! I mean, it basically hinges on how dry I go for rev weapons. Like, if I go really dry for rev weapons, I'll just get all the U and magic logs that I need. But if I don't, then I'm going to need to chop oak logs anyway. So basically, if I think I'm going to get lucky-ish, I should just chop the oak logs now, fletch them and get to level 80 and make a magic short bow and then use that in the rev caves. If I think I'm going to get unlucky, I should just wait until these U logs stack up enough me to get it i mean a magic short bow doesn't give me any extra max hits it's just extra accuracy but i think even with that extra accuracy things like the demons and the uh the other bits and bobs will just kind of be out of range until i get another rev weapon again uh just because my max hit is so low the addy arrows no salve amulet etc but if i got a amulet of avarice and a magic short bow and that would probably be really good at demons and cyclops and that kind of thing because my max hit would be higher, my accuracy would be then even higher, and I could probably then kill them quite effectively without risking a rev weapon. I really don't mind risking the Amulet of Avarice because even though it's very good, um, it's not any good outside of the rev cave so it is it does act as an amulet of glory outside the revenant caves which is very good and obviously better than nothing which i have at the moment but at the end of the day that's not that big of a deal and it'd be much better to have the stats of an amulet of glory plus the stats of a salve amulet inside the rev caves and it note all my items for me and like i feel like risking it under protect item is probably worth it in that instance because it's so much better and relatively useless outside. I don't think I'm going to risk a rev weapon in the same way as I did before, but I think risking an amulet of avarice and a magic short bow would probably be worth it. So what I'm going to do is carry on trying to find these uh, 
young implings, get ourselves a bowstring and see how we do. What the hell? Trick or treat a guard. What does that do? I'd never participate in the uh, in the events. Just so not worth it. I haven't done a uh, Christmas, Halloween, Easter, you know, any of the holiday events in literally probably eight years because I'm a Scrooge like that. But uh, yeah, anyway, back to it. We're going to try and get bowstring from a young impling and make ourselves at least a U short bow for now and potentially get ourselves a magic short bow in future. Oh, and there it is, our first bowstring. I don't think I'm going to bother getting any more. I'll just get another one in future if I decide it's worth it. But let's go and make ourselves a U short bow. Exciting times. So uh, have we got one cut? No, we don't. Let's grab a knife. There we go. Cut ourselves a U short bow. String the U short bow. Oh, that's a thing of beauty. And yeah, let's see what the uh, see what the range difference is. So the uh, the maple short bow range attack stat is twenty nine. The U short bow forty seven. Eighteen more. That's actually loads. That's probably going to help my accuracy a lot. Um, it's not going to protect over like anything. Although, hang on. All right, let's. Uh, Let's grab a standard invent real quick. Um, that, that, and that. Right. Oh no, because my black dehyde will protect over it, won't it? I think. I wish you could manually change that. Um. Yeah. Like, there's nothing I can do there. It just isn't high value enough. It'd be good if you could, like, choose what you what you keep, because I'd much prefer to keep that over the black dehyde, which I've obviously got loads of sets of here, but also, like, loads of black dehyde there. Um, yeah, so I'll never be able to protect this, so I will just lose it if I die, but I don't die too often, and having that is going to increase my accuracy a lot. Whilst I'm here in Varrock, what I should, probably should do is go and buy some more Addy Arrows, because you can tell I'm pretty much out, which is a bit gutting, um, because I thought I might be able to get ourselves a rev weapon in those, but evidently not. But let's carry on. Right, now we've got the U short bow and a decent amount of uh, extra... extra capability in terms of being able to be accurate at Revenants. I feel like I should try these demons again, see what the deal is, see if we can... Uh, you know, get anywhere close to them. I wasn't really expecting that guy to shit himself and run away. Right, let's see how we get on with uh, with killing a demon. Hopefully better. I don't think it will be much better, even if I hit slightly better, just because the max hit is just so low. Like, if I get it under health and then just hit, you know, sixes and sevens consistently, then that's just no good to me either. But... This is looking slightly better than it did before. You kind of need to get them down before they heal a second or third time or it's just not worth it. Um, but we're not too bad. Uh, come on, hit. Uh, okay, three heals. Not atrocious, but not great. I think with a salve amulet, though, this would... Not a sound amulet, what's it called? Uh, amulet of Avarice, this would work out. Yeah, see, I had it so close, and then just string of bad RNG just suffer. Um, but yeah, if I can get a sal uh, uh, amulet of Avarice, I think that could quite feasibly be doable. Interesting, interesting. Right, we're going to go to the other high-risk world, because the high-risk worlds are just goated. Uh, let's go to the US one. US East as well, so it's really not too bad. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do a few more kills here, see how we get on. Yeah, it's decent, but it's just not worth it. And also I run out of bracelet charges. Um, yeah, not worth it, but we're close. I reckon a salve amulet and a magic short bow. Fucking hell, stop saying salve amulet. It's doing my head in. And I'm not even listening. Um, amulet of avarice and a, and a magic short bow. I reckon could, could kill those quite easily. Um, yeah, that's that's probably the plan then. Either get a revenant weapon and go unsculled, or get an amulet of avarice and go uh, sculled at the demons. Good stuff.
I'll tell you what, my damage with this U shortbow, even if the hits aren't higher, the accuracy is really, really noticeable. Um, I'm killing them before they spawn, like, comfortably and pretty much every single time. So, yeah, I mean, just look. Like, I just shred these things now. I'll kill this comfortably before that 11 seconds is up on the other one. Well... It's me gonna look like an idiot again. But look, I just don't miss. Like it's so noticeable. It's really nice. Um as if I just got that when I was recording. <laughs> Fuck's sake. How rare is that? Come on. Come on. Oh, number seven of the ancient crystals. We're gonna have so so many of those by the time we're done. I'm just it's getting painful now that I'm on zero out of four of the actual rare items. Um, I mean, obviously, I did have the crawls, but it's my own fault. I lost it, but I just want any of them at this point. It'd be so nice. Oh, God, this guy's been absolutely working me, but he's not got the agility. Get back to the course. <laughs> Say something. Oh, why do they never chat shit back? That's so annoying. Oh, that's nice. Nice little four mil emblem. I don't actually have one of those in the bank at the moment, so that's really nice to get. Things you love to see. Just need to uh, hover over the logout button just in case we see any PKs, because that would not be a nice one to lose. I was like third kill of the trip or something, which is pretty nice. Oh, that pink text on the floor just always looks so nice. So, so good. Um, looks like we're going to get away. Fairly simple. These high risk worlds just don't have a lot of people in, which is nice. But 4 mil GP, lovely. Okay, we made it back to safety, which is a thing of beauty. Uh, let's just check out. Oh, did I keep a 4 mil one? Did I? Oh, no, I did. No, it's the 8 mil one that I'm missing and the 2 mil one. Okay, right, we're nearly back to a full stack then, but I can trade in a 4 mil and a 1 mil at some point if I want. I'd like to keep one of each if I can. Uh, just, just for collection purposes. I mean, I'll probably trade them in eventually, but it'd be nice to have one of each at the same time all in the bank. That'd be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, nice little four mil drop. Things you love to see. Ah, God, he actually nearly got me there. Ugh, yikes. He's chasing me down. Okay, I just basically need to... Do that. <laughs> okay, that's not too bad. Has he got the agility level? I've not even checked. No, of course not. Sad times. Sad times for him. Fucking rest in peace, the U short bow. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh well, it was fun while it lasted. Back to the maple short bow. Uh, I don't think we lost too much in that. Happens from time to time. Luckily, it's quite quick to re gear back up and uh, yeah, get back to it. The saddest thing is actually losing the. Losing the looting bag. It's quite annoying just not having that because sometimes it does take some kills to get back. 
Ah, oh, sad times. First death in a long time. Oh, well. Right, I'm thinking it's, it's got to be Slayer, really, hasn't it? I'm done with the uh, Hunter. I don't need anything beyond the Young Implings, anything else. I'm just going to end up getting myself into irritating grinds if I go any further. I think... Uh, yeah, I think so. I, the only benefit is the Garden Pie, which could be good. I'm sorry, that was my phone that, that, that buzzed then. Um... Yeah, the garden pie could be good, but I feel like I would prefer to go for that once I need to go for it, as opposed to preemptively. And I think other than that, Slayer can probably help me quite a bit, because realistically, that's the only thing I've got at a decent lampable level that's actually, that I'm kind of locked out of, but does have some benefits if I push forward on it. So yeah, let's go for the Slayer. Let's go for the Slayer, right. Chuck it on there. 180 XP, one more till level 19. We seem to be getting so many lamps lately. So good. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I'm on mobile, so sorry if the audio is a bit scuffed. Oh my god. A second ancient relic in like really not that long. Took me... Oh god. Sorry, I'm in the living room. Uh, well over... Uh, 10,000 to get the first one and then we got the second one what what must be like a couple thousand later This is particularly scary on mobile because if a PK gets on me. I will be dying, but uh, Yeah, that's so good. That's so good a whole uh, 16 million GB and the best thing because I've got a goal of keeping one of each in the bank at all times uh, I can actually trade that one in and get the 16 mil in cash, a green cash stack in one item. That's wild, man. That's so good. That's, oh, just look at it in the looting bag. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? It's been... I've, I've had three of these today. That's wild. All right, let's grab, uh, let's grab that 19 Slayer. Very nice, very nice. We're gonna fly through the levels because level twenty, the level twenties is kind of optimal for lamps. Um, level one is like one of the worst, and then obviously as you get to high levels, lamps become increasingly useless. But level twenty is like the sweet spot, so we'll probably fly through the slayer levels pretty quickly, which is very nice. Oh, here we go. We're getting a proper fight going on here. Look at these guys, both of them stacked. You love to see it. You don't see much of this in the Rove Caves, mostly just people fighting bots and me. Uh, but if one of these guys dies, I mean, that's like probably 20 mil risk. Easy. Easy 20 mil risk. They just keep whipping more shit out as well. Uh, I'll be honest, it looks like uh, Dad is kind of poning at the moment. But we shall see. We shall see. Uh, hopefully we actually get like a, you know, an epic, an epic uh, KO here and now, that'd be good. Uh, I doubt it. We got any AHK going on there? Or are they just decent on the switches? This guy definitely not. Is our boy Dad AHK? Yeah, maybe. Maybe he just seems quite good to me. No, I think they're both just decent PKers. Look at that. That's 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 what we like to see in the Rove case. There should be more of that. Less of just just like being overrun by bots constantly. That's the most bleak thing ever. Um, yeah, did you see that they were looking at, that Manked is looking at releasing uh, multi-combat revenants out to the east of the wilderness? Unsure if I would have access to that or not, but that looks pretty cool. It looks like you could probably pay for protection again, which I kind of like the idea of, <laughs> especially if I had a rev weapon. Uh, but I think it would probably count as a new chunk unless it's somehow a dungeon. Uh, but I don't think it will be. It sounds like it's going to be an island, which would be a new chunk. But cool for everyone else. I can't explain that I've never been less scared of a PK than I am of this guy right now. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Remember your ABCs of sales. Always be closing. You are never too big to shout out your own YouTube channel. <laughs> Oh, God. It's shameless. You've you got to give the plugs. You've got to give the plugs. <laughs> See, look. Anyone can be your friend if you just sell hard enough. And there goes my telly block. See? From telly block to friends and a new viewer <laughs> in less than five minutes. <laughs> there you go. The world is not a lost cause. And neither are PKers. We are picking up fat stacks in the looting bag. Look at that. Three dragon legs and a bunch of other crap in one trip. That is nice. And we are so arrogant. We are going to stay here and risk the PKers. Even though it is, what, peak time in the US? We're talking 7pm US time. So, yeah, world population is high. But I ain't scared. I ain't scared. Right, here we are with yet another range level before getting a wieldy weapon. Level 88 range with, you know, let's call it more or less a maple short bow. Not too bad. We're at, where are we? Uh, 17,000, nearly 400 revenants. We'll ignore that that ever happened. Yeah, green log except the weapons and the average, which is pretty cool, I would say. Uh, hopefully, we can get some more drops soon. Why am I just a magnet for these magic seeds and new seeds? I got some new seeds earlier and didn't even bother recording because I get them so often. 400k's worth of fucking magic seeds. <laughs> and they're so rare. One second. Yeah, the magic seeds are one in 1.7k, which is exactly the same as both the one mil totem and uh what getting three like three rolls of magic seeds would be the same as getting a unique uh well worse than getting a unique like i'd get a unique before i got a third roll of magic seeds and how many magic seeds have i got in my bank i feel like i've got probably coming up to 30 or 40 now i've got at least 16 on the tracker just from the pyre fiend so yeah <laughs> hopefully we can get another weapon soon I mean, each of those, so the two relics that I got and the, medall the four mil medallion, both, all of those are individually rarer than getting any weapon or or the amulet. Oh, I thought he was going to get on me then. Uh, so yeah, instead of those three emblems, I could have had four unique rolls instead. <laughs> Can you imagine? I could be done. That would be nice. Um, but, you know, I guess I'll take the 36 mil. That's okay too. Oh, I wish that was me so badly. Amulet of Avarice for Zota 90. That would be so nice. Oh, the bots are just sickening, aren't they? Um, Amulet of Avarice, that'd be so good. I'm so far past the drop rate for a unique, it's crazy. Since my since I've got the crossbow, I've done uh, 9,000 revenants now. <laughs> And not got anything, and the drop rate uh, of what I was killing is between 1 in 3k and 1 in 4.5k, so we're more than double the drop rate, which is getting a bit wild now. Hopefully we can get something soon. I don't really mind, because Revenants are like one of the best things to kill ever, just for their normal loot. Like, the GP stack on this account is going to be insane, but... Um, yeah, I'm quite uh I'm quite overdue. So I hope I do get something soon. Hopefully the chain mace, because then I can train my strength up and then go and train agility properly, which would be very nice indeed. I'll tell you what, the EU worlds are miserable. The European uh players absolutely love PK. And I've done more damage to this guy than he's done to me, that's quite funny. Um yeah, they absolutely love PK, and I don't. I'm just looking at this guy. It doesn't look like he's gonna have the agility level. He does not. Uh, so that was a fun one to get away from. Thank you for wasting my time. Three minutes in the world. That was including uh, running back from a different PK. Uh, we love to see them. They're, they're they're good. They're good friends of ours. Typically, since I died with the U short bow, I don't think I've died again since, and I've been using this same maple short bow for. Like, well over a thousand kills, so that, that's just sod's law, isn't it? Why is this guy called Clap My Bussy? No, not Bussy. Bussy. Why is he called that? <laughs> 
People have some funny names on this game, don't they? Right, are we going to get away? Hopefully he doesn't catch... Oh my god, this guy's caught every single bind. It's painful. I think I should be alright anyway, frankly, but we'll see. We'll see. There we go. He's probably going to catch it. Yeah, another bind. Oh my god, the Mystics. Bop. Okay, he's left me alone. Good stuff. Imagine if I'd been out of food and he just left me alone and I, he could have easily killed me over the gap. That would have been a... That would have been a misplay from him. Right. How are we doing on the revs now? Let's have a look, shall we? 18.4. About 1,600 kills left to get a unique. Come on, hopefully. Oh, another little lamp. We love to see it. That one is also an interesting one because it's level 20 slayer. Do we get anything for that? Rock slugs? I don't think we've got those in our chunks, but making good progress on the slayer. And only two lamps until the next level. I reckon this is one of those bots. If you just swap every prayer style, just kind of periodically, they just attack you the same thing. So maybe I'm incorrect. <laughs> oh, let's see if we get away. Do you think we'll get away? I reckon we'll get away because we always get away. Oh fuck, I didn't eat that. Ooh. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I thought for a second I was going to die there. That would have been terrible. As always, we just missed the level because at the crucial moment we kill everything far too quickly. But uh, we have... I tried to kill that guy. That would have been good. Uh, we have coming in... Oh no, Stella's waking up on the baby monitor. Level 89 range, so that's good timing. This is my last kill. 1,025 total as well. One more level until level 90 range with no wilderness uniques to our name as of right now. I mean, obviously we got the crossbow and lost it again. But uh, yeah, no, no wilderness weapons as of right now. Hopefully that can change soon. I'd love one that's not the crossbow so I can train my uh, strength and my magic. <laughs> I guess I better go and get Stella now. <laughs> So I just recorded a whole clip that went fully into the ether, but the point of the clip was that I've started using my lamps on farming. I just had one, which, you know, this clip would have made a bit more sense had I had a lamp in my invent and used it, which I just did, but, you know. Uh, so I've started using my lamps on farming. My thought being that I'm really quite close to the Varrock tree patch. It's just there uh there right so we can roll that really quite easily there's a lot of other stuff to do in that chunk namely 99 construction and a whole load of um stuff i think briar fighter um so yeah that would be a long chunk anyway but my thought being that if i can get up to 15 farming for oak saplings um that could be a really decent way to train farming quite quickly because you know, I've got a lot of you and magic seeds in the bank from when from, from from the revenants themselves. So I feel like that would be quite a good investment of our lamps for now, especially considering the fact that the Slayer goal that we had is kind of really, really far away. Like 45 Slayer is a long, long way away. And aside from that, there's not really any particular benefits. So I do think lamping the farming is probably going to be best at least until we get to level 15. All right, we're now just scrapping with a guy for reasons. <laughs> uh, I just wanted him to leave and he just started attacking me back. He looks like he's one defense and he's way lower combat than me. He does have a G more, which is slightly scary, but I think my DPS and the fact that I've got protection prayers is just better than anything he has. Uh, so we shall see. You get... Oh, we nearly <laughs> got him there. Come on, I really want to kill this guy. That'd be really funny. <laughs> Actually, having to pick up my arrows mid PK fight is quite lame, isn't it? <laughs> I do wonder if I can outlast him. Maybe I can. Is this worth the restores I'm using? Probably not. Um... <laughs> and he teleported away. I win. I win at the expense of most of my food. 
Oh, for fuck's sake. What are the uh, odds of this being exactly the same guy just protecting his own account? Uh, <laughs> oh, he's cooked me, to be fair, if it is. That's very funny. That is extremely funny. Okay, right. This might actually be quite a tricky escape, to be honest. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. He's absolutely played me like a fiddle here. Okay, right. Oh, God, I want that. Oh, no, it's a, just a bread roll. It's okay. Okay. I wanted to get that stale baguette. Imagine if I'd got the stale baguette and then lost it immediately. That would have been very funny. Okay. Yeah, see ya. 67 combat pure. No way he's got 75. Nah, not answering me. <laughs> that was quite funny. Okay, so this may look like a fairly innocuous kill, but that is in fact kill number 20,000 on the Revenant log, and that is the collection log so far. So let's go have a look in the bank and see what we have. Um, yeah, let's go have a look at the loot tab. So let's have a little look in the tab. So this is what we have so far. I mean, it's actually quite a stunking little little tab, isn't it? I mean, it's basically just a loot tab with 153 mil in it. And we've traded in a few emblems over time as well. Uh, probably about 12, 15 mils worth to get, uh, to get GP to buy more arrows and this kind of thing. But yeah, pretty huge. Shall I um I'll grab out all the stuff that's like alkable and we can see how much like pure GP that we have. So here are all our pure alkables. Let's chuck those in. 105 mil in just straight cash. And it's also really high ticket items as well. So I'd only need what a thousand uh a thousand nature runes to alk all of that. I probably wouldn't alk the bracelet, so we're probably talking 86 mil in just stuff that I could alk immediately. But stuff like the onyx bolts and the addy bars, that will all end up being alkables eventually. Black dehyde as well, the magic logs, the U logs, all that stuff's going to convert to gold eventually. So comfortably a hundred mil in gold that we could. Uh, extract at any time which is pretty big considering that the uh the 99 construction chunk is right there able to be rolled at the moment so that's pretty big news um yeah really crazy right uh it just looks so nice i mean i would be so sad to alk any of it because it just looks so nice in the bank having these fat stacks um i mean you can see how often we die we've probably lost about 20 percent of these which are probably a pretty good indicator of how many deaths we've had um and yeah the food stacks are starting to recover a bit now that i'm using the maple shortbow because i don't use it as much as when i was using the crossbow obviously the crossbow we lost um, but we're starting to get quite a lot of uh runes and stuff as well i mean like sixteen thousand blood runes that's not an insignificant amount and uh, nearly 10k coal is also quite a large amount when when it kind of comes down to it the seeds are going to be pretty big for us as well in the future i mean 50 magic seeds that's that's what that's nearly a million no about 700,000 uh, farming XP there. A little bit from the U seeds as well. Probably another 200k. So, you know, we've got like 70 farming banked comfortably just in those. I mean, obviously we can't use them until we get higher farming levels. But it's a good start to having some decent farming farming stuff available to us. Um, yeah, aside from that, yeah, pretty cool. Um not much else really has happened in this video, I don't think. Uh, but that is the loot tab. So, uh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. It was a fun one to film, and I hope it was a fun one for you guys to watch as well. Big shouts out to the channel members. Avery Fields, Eddie Mayer, Shocked Thief, Mitchell Nunley, DJ Focus, Grimsley, Grimzoso, Salnexor, Kai, Hunterman, Carl Sprouse, Ninrim, Papa Brando, Squang, Olivet, Hazmat83, Nilo360, Croporo, Vandio Gaming, Cluey Louie, Asher Anchor, Dominique G, 
Spooky Pasta. At the Legend tier, we've got El Pin and Cum Crumpet and Soda. At the Rune tier, we have Crito, Fireball Tech. And at the Amethyst tier, we have Fontcest, Sir Yolo, Jack Stalmer, and Talfine. Thank you very much for watching. It's all much appreciated. And obviously the big man himself, LS, who not only subscribes through YouTube at the moment, but is also subscribed to the website at the special LS tier. So if you fancy joining those guys and supporting me, head over to the website in the description and every single person that, that becomes a member of the channel is so appreciated, it's hard to actually explain. So thank you very much to all of those guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.